I have a question for you. How many Episcopalians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Well, I don't know, but I'm sure someone has written a liturgy about it. As most of you know, we in the Episcopal Church love our liturgies. And I think some of this goes back to our Anglican roots as well, because the British um, just love ceremony. And they have come up uh, with hundreds of different liturgies. And we do the same in the United States. But time and time again over the years on the National Association of Deacons Facebook page and when we had our mailing list, deacons would ask if anyone had a good liturgy to end a ministry at a particular parish. Well, I participated in one recently and I think it's excellent and I'd like to share a little bit about it and also offer it to anyone who would like to have a copy to adapt for their own use as well. September 30th was my last day at St. George's and uh, we were still doing Zoom church, but this particular section I'm going to share with you could be incorporated as part of any type of service including Eucharist, because this section involved not only my rector and the senior warden and the people, but it was also written to have the bishop there as well. Because as you know, deacons and bishops are locked together historically and traditionally. A deacon does not just appear at a church because the rector wants one. They are placed in consultation with the rector and the deacon by the bishop. The deacon is always partly the bishop's ear and eyes out in the world. So this section uh, that uh, we did last uh, a few Sundays ago uh, was called a review of ministry. And it was based on the vows that are taken by a deacon when they are ordained. So the bishop asked the rector, using that as a guide, if I, as deacon, had done and performed the functions I was supposed to. So let me share this with you. The bishop asked, has Anthony here served all people? particularly the poor, the weak, the sick, and the lonely. The rector responds, he has. In his role as pastoral associate, Anthony has called and visited the sick, the dying, brought communion to homes and hospitals, and it goes on and recounts everything. And then it ends with the people saying, thanks be to God. Then the bishop asks again, has Anthony here studied holy scriptures to seek nourishment from them and to model his life upon them? To which the rector says, he has. Anthony led midweek Bible study, co-mentored EFM groups, and preached the word of God regularly and well. To which the people respond, thanks be to God. Now, what is so brilliant about all of these different questions the bishop asks is it reinforces what a deacon is supposed to do with their ministry and it shows the people what the deacon had done in their time there. So it really uh, serves to show the people what has been done and to tie a bow on the wrapping of ending a ministry at a church. It's just a brilliant way 
to uh, uh, tie everything together. And then the crowning achievement uh, in this liturgy was when the senior warden came forth and read a section where the senior warden now gives the deacon, me, back to the bishop for reassignment. So I think it's absolutely a brilliant liturgical way uh, to end a ministry at a church. This review of ministry is just wonderful, and I'd like to make it available to anyone who may wish to use it. So down below, uh, you're going to see a link to my website entitled Postcards from the Wilderness, and it will take you right to that post where you can download a PDF file of this particular liturgy. And if you wish to use it, do it with our blessing. Before I go this month, I'd like to say that, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic that is still raging in certain parts of the country. And we've seen cases tick upward over the past few weeks. We're also in the midst of a national election. Now, I hope you vote. I hope you sent in your ballots, or if you do go to a polling station, please be safe, wear your mask, insist on social distancing. But I hope that your anxiety level is less. I hope that when you visit this channel each month, that you feel that all is well and all shall be well to quote Teresa of Avila, all shall be well. Please know that even though I don't know you personally, I hold you and your family in my personal prayers. And I hope to see you next month. In fact, I will see you next month with a new episode of That Deacon on YouTube. Bye-bye.